What's up guys, it's Remedy for GSG bringing you Tomb Raider, the collectible locations for the Coastal Forest. Right after you acquire the bow, you want to look up on that log you were actually walking on and there's a ghost hunter hanging right on the tip of it. And starting from the same location, you're going to stay to the left and you're going to find a vehicle that's flipped and in the back of the bed there's going to be a document. In the northeast corner you see that little cubby on the map and that's where you want to head to. There's going to be a ghost hunter right there hanging off that cliff. And if you can't see these guys, don't forget to use your survival instinct. That will make them glow orange. And directly south of that, you're gonna find this little waterfall, and at the end of it, some kind of container. Some kind of container. Who left these behind? I don't know. Now you want to go up and around the waterfall, and you're gonna see this area that you can climb up onto a platform. And to the left of that is gonna be a GPS. Numbers. Some kind of coordinates. Did someone want these to be found? And drop down off that platform where the GPS was located and turn around and uh, right next to a tree you should see another ghost hunter. A little further to the west you should see another ghost hunter chilling in between some trees and by now you should have uh, killed your first deer and starting from where the bow was acquired you'll see this platform over here to the right in front of you you want to climb up that and you're going to jump off to the next platform and then look up and you're going to find another platform but this one's going to finally have something it's going to be a gps and I would advise dropping down from there and that's going to take you back up to the camp. And once you reach the camp you want to go past the camp. And uh, after you exit through that little cave area look to the left and you're going to see this ghost hunter. After Laura gets some rest she's going to get up and want to explore that bunker. When you reach this bunker, this room I should say, on a shelf to the right this is, is going to be a container that has your first relic. This traditional no mask represents a hateful woman in the guise of a demon. And on some relics you can examine them and get more XP. There are traces of white paint on the inside. Whoever used this mask was of noble birth. Once you reach the second camp, you want to look to the left and on our table there's going to be a document. I can't believe we're actually And starting from the camp again, this time you want to head out and stay to the right. You're going to make a jump over to another rock and on that rock is going to be a GPS. <laughs> And right where we left off the GPS, you want to balance along this tree and it's going to take you to the far end where you can find another document and of course it's sitting on top of a crate. Lara's having a crisis of confidence. And for this next one it is starting off where the document was that we picked up. You want to go underneath this bridge. And to the left of it is going to be a small container with a relic inside. 
Japanese no actors could tilt their heads up and down to make the rigid mask express different emotions. And now you want to head to the bridge to the north of the last bridge. This one's going to be broken, and underneath it is going to be a ghost hunter. And from the top of that broken bridge, you're going to see a path to the right. You want to take that path up, look to the left, and you can jump onto this awning, I believe it is. I don't know. Um, there's a platform over there. Jump onto that, and there's a treasure map on a crate. And there's a rope, and you actually want to take that rope down so you don't die, and so you can get to the next collectible fast. Alright, pretty much where you drop down, there was a bridge right in front of you, and underneath that bridge is going to be your next ghost hunter. And look to the left of that ghost hunter, and you're going to see another one hanging in a tree. I guess they like to hang out and mingle. And right after you click those ghost hunters, you want to go to the north. You're going to climb up these rocks right here. And at the top of this, there's going to be a GPS. The last GPS for this area. And to the west of that GPS, you're going to see a temple. And you're going to climb up these stairs and to the left on the ground there's going to be a document Whitman is such a drama queen and right in front of this temple again shrine you're going to see a ghost hunter and a statue without a head and in the northwest corner there's going to be a small cave and inside is going to be Nikki and the container. And the container contains this mask was used a relic. traditional Japanese no theater. I think it represents a demon or oni. There's a price tag. Looks like this one is a wrap. I wouldn't pay that. Right after you meet with Whitman, you're going to want to look to the right and go into that corner and floating in mid-air because it's not on a crate is going to be the last document and at Whitman again in the opposite corner hi Whitman opposite corner is going to be your final ghost hunter for the area Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Remedy from GSG. Thanks for watching the Tomb Raider video. Hopefully, it helped you out, and hopefully, you gave us a like, and that will help us out. Um, thumbnails right over there. Go ahead and hit the full playlist if you want to go to the rest of the Tomb Raider videos. Uh, everything you need is going to be there. Um, go ahead and hit the next area if you want to go to the next area of the game if you're following the game along. Um, other than that, the links are in the description for the mobile guys out there, and thanks for watching. Peace.